Welcome to the longest pedestrian shopping street in the entire world, the Strogit. Pardon my Danish. Now, this street is 1.1 kilometers, which is about 0 0.7, 0 0.6 miles. And it doesn't sound too long, but apparently it is. Every time I search everywhere in Google, it always says this is the longest pedestrian shopping street in the world. So today we're going to walk around this beautiful city. Venice. Third time's a charm when it comes to going live. I have my SIM card. Unfortunately, upload rates are minuscule compared to download rates. Download rates are very high, but for live video, I as well. And it doesn't seem like I will be able to live stream. Let's see. Let's see if it holds up a 480p standard definition. So here's the Guinness World of, Guinness World of Records. Is Danish? <laughs> I never knew that. Okay, so while we had a lot of people guess as to where I'm at, a bit of people did get it right. I assume we have a few urbanists from this country. Uh, I know of, of Vol, a few others. So right now we are in a dedicated pedestrian shopping street that used to be filled with cars. This is called the Stroge, and I'm going to try to find the sign. A bit hard to pronounce, uh, but luckily I wouldn't need it too much because 86% of the country is proficient. Advanced proficiency. So look at that. And Bob has come to join us here in the beautiful city of Copenhagen in Denmark. So this is the street where I went to Copenhagen was passing through this street as people tried to navigate through these very narrow This has been traditionally Sorry everyone, bad service. This has been traditionally a major years since like the 1500s. Of course, through due to a few fires, the architecture has changed throughout those centuries, but the cars were making it very bad for business. At first, the owners of these stores actually were against pedestrianizing the street because they thought they were going to lose all business. If there's no cars, there's not going to be customers. So, do a short trial run for I think two years. And it was a blazing success. In, um, areas and to all these stores in droves. 
and then the business went way up than it did with cars. And suddenly Copenhagen, Copenhageners got a little taste of what it is to live in the city without too much traffic. Copenhagen's history, where it was about to be surrounded in highways because there was a mayor in power that was a follower, uh, you can call him a disciple of Robert. And he wanted to build a highway straight through the middle of the city. Luckily, he was not successful. And we have the story. Join me. Uh, I, unfortunately, there's live streaming issues. I'm getting very, very high upload rates. I mean, very high download rates. Upload rates, which is unfortunate. I'm not sure why the upload is so terrible. Um, let me know if any Danes are tuning in. Let me know if anyone's live stream here in Denmark. Mislav says this should be a model for uh, many cities. Yeah, New York is actually adopting this model. So in 1795, there was a massive fire in the 1720s, and it ravaged the city, including this very street that we're on right now. So they had to stop building in wood and had to replace them with brick buildings and tiled roofs. But one thing that they did was to shave off the corners of the city so the fire trucks can actually drive, or fire carriages at that time, could drive more efficiently around the corner. Edinburgh in the 1960s, a motorway went, went right down Princess Street just below the castle. Oh wow, I didn't realize that Prince Street to be a motorway. Yeah, this happened to many places in Europe. The only cities that it was successful in building a highway through it was Stockholm. Every other city luckily canceled those projects. Amsterdam. I'm not sure if London got to that stage. Uh, there was a few other cities. Helsinki, Oslo had plans for highways running through it, but they were all canceled. Hey, Christine, welcome. Yes, we are in beautiful Copenhagen. So as you can see, what, what a, a difference between Copenhagen right now on the cross bikes. There's lots of bikes, that's for sure. What was the main difference? Linda says, sounds very windy. It's not windy. Christy says she can't buy stars. Christine, try uh, updating your app. Your that sometimes is the issue when it comes to not buying stars. You haven't updated the app yet. Kay says, now the song Beautiful Copenhagen is around my head. Yeah, I can imagine. So let me know if you see me and hear me. I'm a, I'm a bit I'm a bit bummed that the service is up. Me to a new city, and this city is a tech capital, similar to London. Uh, surprising how tech capitals have uh, terrible service. Low rates on all Danish networks. Possibly possibly buy the cheapest version of each to test. Yeah. There, no, there's not that many prepaid SIM card options here in Denmark. So it's not like in I'm most cities, especially most Western European cities, or uh, 
in North America where you can buy a prepaid SIM card two companies that have prepaid SIM card, Leica Mobile and another one that also starts with the L, that apparently is worse than Leica, so a few options. Uh, Patty, Stephanie, thank you so much for the stars. I appreciate you. Hello, Daryl Dean from Western Australia. Welcome. Miss Lam is, is uh, wondering questions <laughs> about the future of this trip. Look how beautiful. Kay says, see and hear about law breaking up, yeah. Ms. Lobb says, it's a wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. Yes, it is. We are indeed in Copenhagen. Or the language, what is the language, says uh, Linda. So the language of Copenhagen, Copenhagen is within the country of Denmark. The language is Danish. German is recognized as a minority language in the south area of Denmark on the Jutland Peninsula. I might be, I'm, I'm definitely mispronouncing that. It's pronounced differently in, in Danish. And um, English is a really high population. Very different from say France or Italy, for example. Oh, here. Christine and Stephanie, thank you so much for 100 stars. Pronounce Yutlan. 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 Thank you so much. Rob says, Are, you, are there going to be older buildings that are going to show us? I have a fucking live stream here. Ms. Lop says, are you planning to visit Christiania? I know you're not able to film there. Yeah, I won't be able to film, so I'm going to visit on my own free time. Yeah, let me know if the live stream is still watching. On my screen, for context, I see like a huge marker that says, uh, unstable signal. And when I see... Uh, at least the way I feel. It's uh, similar to like if you were chatting with someone, if you're chatting at a party, and someone keeps interrupting when I see that huge signal. So it kind of throws me off. And, <laughs> and I feel like very cautious to move forward in terms of the maintaining the signal. So um, I'll keep on going if it's still somewhat viewable. Maybe, maybe it's this area. Maybe it's because this area is older and there's more buildings. Um, let me know any data experts like there are data experts so let me know if it's still viewable last night's this is the search iPhone 14 is international with nearly all bands is enabled except millimeter uh, but big problem may be locking by vendor slash sim provider says it and then oh yeah luckily my phone is unlocked so I'm able to use any sim card I want to is on this way over says denise yes yes marianne says it's viewable uh carla says it's viewable you just cut cut out a little bit es a mi uh a mi amistosas las gentes con los turistas te han tratado bien evelyn evelyn has a main uh, are the people friendly with tourists have they treated you well it's so continue walking around. 
So, well, hopefully if I can live stream more uh, steadily. Uh, but the Danes, as I mentioned in yesterday's live stream, the test, I came um, in most areas around the world, including my native US, they're very tough. You know, they're very serious. You can't, can't crack a joke. I do not recommend cracking jokes at any type of immigration passport control. And when uh, the person asked me, hey, why are you here? I said, oh, I'm here for pleasure, for holiday. I usually say that, just, just not to get too much in a conversation of what I do. And uh, I said, saying, with a, with a smile, but not a very confident smile. Oh, good that you came here. <laughs> not like sarcastic, not sardonic. It's even hard to replicate the tone, but it's like a very straightforward. <laughs> and it's so, it was, it, it, it threw me off and it was kind of the most awesome way to enter the country. To enjoy uh, this place. So in essence, the Danes are very straightforward. And uh, it's not as warm as Ireland, of course. Ireland is probably the warmest of the countries you can go to. Um, or as... Um, it's definitely way more straightforward. It's like New York, but even more straightforward than New York. Uh, I still have yet to learn more about Danish culture, but that's why I get so far. There is a friendliness, but it is a very straightforward... There is no small talk, no beating around the bush, no chit-chatting. So this, I don't know what this is fully, seems to be a exhibition. So let's we'll pull up the map. Ooh, there's music. We're gonna go to the music too. But we are in the dark green area of this map. So we are visiting right now. We're within the European Union. We are visiting Scandinavia at the moment. This is the region known as Scandinavia, which includes Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Uh, to extension in Greenland as well and the Faroe Islands because they're all similar cultures and languages. And right now we are in Denmark. Within Denmark, we are in Copenhagen. So let's pull it up right here. So we are right there in Copenhagen, which is an island. They're all connected by bridges, so you But it is an island right here. The, the mainland is this peninsula, Jutland. Right over there. And Sweden is literally just across the water. So I'm not sure if you can see it. If find out later. This is like an exhibition space uh, that used to be a church. Built very fortified too for a church. These churches used to have walls around them, so they were indeed fortified. They removed the walls and the fences. Stream, yeah, unfortunately, it is very laggy. Um, this is out of my control. I may try just the Sweden's third Mamo is it
Greg sent 340 stars. Thank you so much, Greg. Trish says it's okay, Ariel. We're still happy to be um, despite the choppy stream. Well, I'm so glad. Leela says, I don't think I've been this excited about live stream before. says sorry have to use um yt hey so kind of you ten dollar super chat thank you thank you thank you um she's swister on youtube that's awesome thank you hopefully you can fix stars stars you might have to update your app Leo said, oh, yeah. Wow. Service is going out every few seconds. How's the bicycle hold trip? Here, you can see it. Then New York, then London, then full, full bicycle culture. Sailor hats. What well, appears to me to be sailor hats. Jordan says, "Go to that Gucci store." Uh, Gucci does not allow filming. Well, the uh, usually high-end. Trust me, I've tried. The weather is 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which is warm, very warm actually. It is shorts weather. A lot of people, by the few people you see with the jackets. What is this? about the the Gucci store okay, so if I can pop over the window I'll show you um, I did did once before in New York City so. Mary and the thousand stars oh thank you so much Marianne Ariel thank you so much for the stars I appreciate you so here's This was installed by after one of those devastating fires I mentioned. This. I had to revitalize this area. This was the main market square. It's not really a square. It's kind of like a... <laughs> Suzanne says my connection is too spotty. It is indeed, Suzanne, yeah. Uh, out of my control. Unfortunately. I wish I could do something, but... Uh, 
between from 360p. I'm not sure if that would make a difference. Susie said 500 stars. Thank you so much, Susie. Stars, I appreciate you. Q and A is doing some real experience award last August in Denmark. I may see if I can get a SIM card at three. Early entrance, says Susie. Entrance to the old all of Denmark. Go. We still have the same design. <laughs> if it were the same design as they were originally built 100 years ago. So if you want to use a free toilet that's historic, this is it. Jordan, thank you so much for tuning in. to uh, see if I can get uh, another SIM card made for Mark. So sorry about the... It's getting way too spotty. Uh, a little bit, way too much. Um, so, Jordan said 500 stars. Thank you so much, Jordan. I'm not sure why yesterday worked perfectly. Um, as I mentioned yesterday in the test live stream, issues it's been very hard to kind of discern exactly what's going wrong um, but i'll i'll try to be back maybe i'll do a different neighborhood maybe a little bit more outside will work a little bit better uh, but i'll be to go at 5 p.m so if by a miracle i get some cell phone reception where i'm going at 5 p.m i'll be going live Denmark, I mean, this is Copenhagen right now as Throget. We have about halfway of this Throget left, and if I end up getting a good SIM card, then I'll do another live here. Uh, and there's some cool, weird facts here, so I'm gonna do TikToks of this fountain, the Stork Fountain. And be stay tuned, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep being awesome, and always keep on exploring. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.